Welcome to St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic Church. We have come together today to celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also recognize this weekend as Haiti Weekend. A couple brief reminders. Following the most recent guidelines from the Diocese of Joliet, masks are required for all persons over the age of two, regardless of vaccination status, while inside any of the church spaces. Thank you for your understanding. Disposable masks are available on the credenza in the narthex. Remain, remain from physical contact with others. This includes during the Lord's Prayer and the sign of peace. And now for a few announcements. The St. Vincent de Paul truck is in the parking lot at all masses to accept your donations. It will be there until 12.30 p.m. Sunday. The Lakota Pine Ridge Indian Reservation blanket sleeping bag winter coat drive ends this coming Monday. Donations can be dropped off in the bins in the gathering area. Next weekend, the Knights of Columbus will be exchanging Tootsie Rolls for a no donation to benefit charities related to intellectual disabilities. The Knights will be present outside the exits after all the masses. More information regarding these announcements and other activities can be found in the parish bulletin and website. I now ask everyone to rise as we begin the celebration of Mass.
want to welcome everyone here to St. Thomas, those who are here present physically in the body of Christ and those who are joining us virtually. Uh, you know we're in a time of mandates, everything's being mandated. I got a new mandate I want to impose. I haven't asked a lot of people, but I think whenever I'm here, I want brown masks. Carmelite, calm down, wear brown. Okay. So let's for a moment presence ourselves amid the presence deep within us and all around us. Let go of anything that takes our mind or our heart away from where our feet are in this assembly of God's people. For the Lord has gathered us together to praise him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In all things, Jesus calls us to live in holiness. And for the times we've now li lived up to this call, let us ask for healing and mercy. Lord Jesus, you desire to show us the way to salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you defend the weak and champion the poor. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in you we find peace and fullness of, of compassion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. And let us sing to the glory of our God. God, who manifests your mighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy. Bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those working to obtain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. And we ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the 70 elders and the spirit came up to rest upon them. They prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Medad were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, 
but had not gone out to the tent, yet the Spirit came to rest on them also. And they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aid, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered, are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away, your clothes have become moth-eaten, your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up a treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on luxury and pleasures. You have fattened your hearts for the day of the slaughter. 
you have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. But Jesus replied to him, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can, can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believes in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna with this unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where, there, where, the, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a good thing that uh, we believe that Jesus was speaking in hyperbole when we heard that line, or otherwise we'd look very different being here. Uh, today is Haiti, this is Haiti weekend, and I'm gonna call up Kathy Fife, who's got, from our twinning, twinning uh, committee here. She's gonna give us an update of all the activities we've had, then we'll have a video here, four minutes about what's going on in Haiti, and then we'll hear from Father Emery, the pastor of Surrey Madeline. Kathy. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am Kathy Fife, as Father Calrissi had mentioned, and I'm a member of the Twinning Council uh, for Haiti here at the parish in um, St. Thomas. We are very glad that Father Emery, the pastor of St. Marie Madeline, can be with us this year. I'd like to provide you with some updates on the Twinning activities over the past year. We received a number of one to three minute video clips from Dushity and edited them into a four minute video format. The background music was selected to support the message of the video images. The complete video clips that we did receive from Dushiti will be made available on the St. Thomas website. The video will show scenes from the immediate aftermath of the earthquake. We provided two truckloads of medical supplies and food to Dushiti. We are turning our efforts now from relief to house rebuilding support. In the medical area, the big news was the implementation of the solar power project. The clinic now has electric power 24 hours a day. The video will show the solar panels and will provide a glimpse of Dr. Nixon working in the clinic. We provided $13,000 toward the operation of the clinic and for medication and additional lab equipment. Our support of education 
um, in providing $30,000 to St. Thomas School and to Erta School assures quality teachers, which in turn assures a quality education. The annual Sponsor a Child program will start next weekend. The video will show the St. Thomas School buildings. For many reasons, the St. Marie Madeline worship space completed in 2005 is not a typical church structure. See today's bulletin for more information. It was a surprise to us when Father Emery began construction of an above ground church, which is a priority for the parish in Dushiti. The video shows the beginning construction and there will be a special meeting um, with Father Emery to hear about the project this Monday at 7 p.m. and all of you are welcome and we'd love to have you there. Even as the St. Marie Madeline community is recovering from the extraordinary earthquake event, they need to continue their ordinary lives. The medical clinic and the schools need to operate as they have been um, operating in the past. The second collection today, as it does every year, will benefit our Haiti twinning ordinary medical and educational activities. The St. Thomas community responded in an extraordinary um, fashion to the earthquake disaster. Now we are asking that you respond in an ordinary fashion as you are able to allow the clinic and schools to continue their quality services. For me, the relationship with the people of Dushiti has been a life-changing experience. I have visited um, Dushiti five times um, and shared in their pain and their poverty um, and a real feeling of compelling need to help them. But also, I took away an awful lot from them, their sense of community, the smiles, the laughter, and just being included in the camaraderie. I have friends in Dushiti. Your continued support of twinning makes a huge difference to St. Marie Madeline Parish and to the larger community in Dushiti. It also makes a difference to us, the faith community of St. Thomas, as we continue the relationship with our brothers and sisters in Dushiti. Thank you, or as they would say, Merci en ville. We'll view the video now from Dushiti and before we welcome Father Emery to the podium. Président à vivre, faut de retendre une solution, faut sauver la situation, ayez pitié, bon. Je suis Nixon Bolit, je suis petit du Chiti, médecin qui a chance de travailler dans la clinique Bon Samaritain. Ça fait environ.
c'est la jeunesse. you to welcome, please, uh, Father Emery Menard. Dear sisters and brothers, good afternoon. I want to say you thank you today. Thank you for all you have done for the Asian people, especially for the people of Dujiti. You are always attentive to the cries of my Asian sisters and brothers in the good time as well as in the bad times. So you are generous people. After the earthquake on August 14, 2021, devastated the south of Haiti, St. Thomas Church called me to find out the extent of the earthquake damage in Dushiti. Right away, the generous and faithful parishioners of St. Thomas reached out to support the Asian sisters and brothers who were victims of the natural disaster. Therefore, the people of Dushiti have neither gold nor diamond to offer you, but we pray every day so that God protects you and blesses you in abundance. This is our way of showing you our appreciation. In the name of the people of Dishiti and myself, I sincerely thank you for accompanying us and sustaining us through these many years. You help us to greatly improve the quality of education and build a strong school which have as resist the natural disaster. You help us to provide a good religious education to many students throughout the years. I thank you also for the excellent if care that you provide us year after year. 
Your generosity was especially appreciated after the earthquake, when you provide us medicines, laboratory materials, and the means to pay a full-time doctor. Thank you as well for having supplied the clinic with a six kilowatt solar system, allowing us to use much less diesel gas. I hope that in the future, the St. Thomas School and the Rectory will be able to have their own solar energy system. In 2005, St. Thomas helped to build the worship space we have been using all this year. Thank you for that. Our parishioners have long wished to the construction of an above ground church. In May of this year, we start the above ground construction of the St. Marie Madeleine Church. The beginning was not easy, but with the prayers and the faithful support, we have made progress. We continue to count on your prayers for the completion of this new church, which will make us all proud. Thanks to the pastor of this parish. Thanks to Father Bob. Million thanks to all the 80 training team members. Thanks to my host families. Thanks to all parishioners of St. Thomas. May Almighty God continue to bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Merci. You know, Father Emmerich, if I could speak in the name of the parish for a minute. Uh, you know, it's, it's not been a one-way street. You know, we, we, we live in a kind of privileged isolation of wealth around here, and we know that and we've been able to share some of it with you. But just as symbolically, you know, as we came in this church today, the lights were off and the air conditioning certainly was, we're all going. <laughs> it's interesting it came on. Because I think one of the things that Duchity, the people of Duchity, the church there has helped us understand the body of Christ in a whole different way, sometimes in the way that struggles, that don't live in the privilege that we do. You've awakened us, you've challenged us and kind of uh, enlightened us to uh, a bigger world. And that's a huge piece for us. So thank you. Believe me, it, it, and we've all, people have developed friends here. We've met people. We've been down there in different missions. And people have come back changed by them. You know, somehow the poor always evangelize the wealthy. And we know that. So thank you. Thank you for what Duchity does for us. <laughs> and you know, today we're going to have the second collection to benefit the Haiti Twinning Medical and Educational Activities. Checks can be made out to St. Thomas the Apostle, but put Haiti on it uh, and put it in the blue baskets. You know, we got different baskets there. The blue baskets as you exit. Online donations can also be made through the parish website. Just make sure you write uh, Haiti somehow in the check. So thank you for your support, our continued support of our brothers and sisters in Christ who have helped expand our vision of the body of Christ. Let's stand and proclaim our faith. The creed can be printed on the card in the back, in the pew. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Believe in the Holy I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. In having been nourished by the word of God, let us confidently place our petitions before the Lord, knowing that the cries of those in need are heard. For all the baptized people of God, that we exercise our roles as prophets in our daily lives, and we pray in a special way for those who exercise their role as priests through ordinary ordination on this priesthood Sunday. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peacemakers, including those who do not follow Christ, that they may unite their hearts and efforts together in love to create a more just and peaceful world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For willingness on the part of all religions and creeds to work together for the prosperity of our planet and all and all of God's creation, especially those looking for a new place in our world on this world day of migrants and refugees, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe in God, that all atheists may embody love and concern for others, and we pray for their families as they cope with their loved ones pulling away from faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, that we follow Christ's call to discipleship and service in his name, especially through our twinning partnership with our brothers and sisters in Haiti, whom are in need of our support and love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those afflicted with ills of the mind, body, or spirit, that they experience the Lord's consolation and prayerful support of the faithful, which may bring them peace and comfort, especially Anita, friend of Diane Lord, Donna McLaughlin, wife of Bob. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of all the dead, that they may be at rest as they await the time when they will be gathered into the fullness of God's reign and glory. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions gathered within the St. Thomas community for this weekend, especially Consortia Furman, Adam's family, Colleen Walton, increase of vocations to the priesthood, diaconate and consecrated life, Marilyn Ferris, our brothers and sisters at St. Marie Madeleine and our twinning parish in Duchity, Haiti, the intentions requested through our prayer network, the intentions written in our prayer book, parish book of prayers, and the needs of all gathered. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now join in one voice proclaiming the closing prayer that was written by our parish racial justice team found in the back of the site, the site card in the pew. Loving, Loving, Loving and merciful Lord. God, who created us all in your image, help open our eyes to the dignity and inherent value of all your children. Awaken in us a passion for inclusion, reflection, and justice so that with your grace, we may live and act in peace and solidarity with one another. 
We ask this in all the prayers of the Universal Church, in the name of Christ, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit. song. <laughs> My sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the Holy One, our God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's church. O merciful God, grant that in this offering we may find acceptance with you, and that brought through and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, and we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy people, a people forever your possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. fountain of all holiness and make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your holy spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ for we remember and give thanks that at the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion that jesus took bread and giving you thanks he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And we remember and give thanks that in that same way, before that supper was ended, that Jesus took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sin may be forgiven. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity and justice. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our bishop, and the entire people that you claim as your own. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And to have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her blessed spouse, with Thomas and the apostles, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Therese, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For we join in the sacrifice of Jesus because we know, we believe, and we proclaim. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, by divine teaching, let's pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your Christ will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from all evil and from all fear from whatever prevents us from knowing you and from loving one another. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your peace, so that we can live all of our days joyfully awaiting and experiencing the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and now. forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church gathered here. Grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us share that peace with one another as safely as we can.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who has taken away the sin, darkness, and the vision of our world. This is Jesus who comes to, un, comes to us again, that we experience the generosity and the presence of God. And blessed are we who are called to this banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. And my soul shall be healed. Still the 
Let us stand and pray. Lord, may this Eucharist in which we proclaim the death of Christ bring us salvation and make us one with him in glory, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. A couple of announcements here. A couple I got. It was not a ploy when the air conditioning wasn't on to make you know that you give more, you know, to get pay our electric bills. That was not a ploy. It was an accident. I just got my booster shot about three hours ago so I can go to the Holy Land. You know, they're making us do it. So, <laughs> really interesting one of the ladies who's wavering about going or not she said now why are they doing it to us and I said they're protecting themselves from us you know we're the ones that you know haven't taken the common good uh, as uh, gregariously as they have anyway the Lord be with you oh and the blue remember the blue uh, baskets for Katie the Lord be with you with your spirit and may the blessing of Almighty God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and all days of our lives Let's go forth in peace and glorify the Lord by the way we live our lives. Thanks be to God. I thought you were going to poke me.